In July 2012, Libya held its first free election in half a century. Millions cast their ballots, a historic achievement for the Libyan people and an important step in the transition to democracy. The United Nations assisted the country throughout the electoral period, offering its expertise on the organization of credible polls. The Department of Political Affairs plays a leading role in the work of the United Nations to help countries hold credible elections. In many cases, these elections are a defining moment in a country's transition to democracy. Contested elections can be disastrous, leading to renewed conflict, rather than consolidating any kind of peace. And that's why electoral assistance is so important. One of the main objectives we have at the United Nations is preventing conflict, and by helping to provide elections in which people have confidence can help prevent conflict. With the assistance of the United Nations, millions of people around the world cast their votes in credible and democratic elections every year. In the last 20 years, the United Nations has assisted more than 100 of its member states, more than half of its membership with electoral support. This includes not only countries going through transitions, but also those who already have experience with elections. The role of the Department of Political Affairs is to discuss with the government um, who has requested assistance, what exactly they need, uh, both from a technical point of view and political point of view, to help ensure that the UN system delivers as one uh, effectively and efficiently so that um, uh, we meet the expectations of the, of the member state involved and more particularly of the citizens of that, of that country. On the ground, the UN's electoral experts carry out a broad range of tasks. Yeah, we have a roster of uh, almost a thousand experts from all over the world. And these people are available to help in anything from very concrete tasks like designing ballots, designing ballot boxes, helping design computer programming for, uh, for voter registers, to very conceptual thinking on uh, whether uh, a proportional electoral system or a majoritarian system or a mixed system is, is the, the type of system that a particular country wants. In the case of Libya, the national authorities and the UN faced a very strict timeline. The landmark elections took place only a year after the revolution against the dictatorship of Muammar al Qaddafi. The elections are a very complicated operation. They're administratively very complex. The more so when you're in a country like Libya where you don't have experience on electoral administration, where you don't have the institutions there, and where you have to then build the institutions at the same time that you are uh, helping prepare the, the, the process, the elections. I say often that it's like uh, building a car when the car is already in the highway. Over the last few years, it has become increasingly clear that electoral assistance requires more than just technical advice. In many cases, the UN is also bringing its diplomatic good offices to bear. The administration of elections is important. You know, you, you need to have a good administration, there needs to be integrity in the administration. But what you really need is to have the confidence of the population, the confidence of the citizens, the confidence of the voters in that process. Um, and that confidence leads to acceptance of results. And this is where the United Nations can play such an important role, is that we can use our good offices, we can use our electoral assistance to help build the type of trust that people need to have in the process. An example of this new approach is the UN's support to the independence referendum of South Sudan in 2011. In addition to traditional electoral assistance and the work of the UN's peacekeeping mission, a UN panel of respected personalities strengthened political confidence in the referendum by monitoring the process and meeting with Sudan's political leaders and election officials. As it oversees UN assistance to democratic elections around the globe, the Department of Political Affairs cooperates closely with the UN Development Program and the UN's peacekeeping or political missions on the ground. I think that having an integrated approach of international assistance, and in particular, having an integrated approach uh, for the different UN agencies, the mission in this case and UNDP, was essential for the success of the mission. And it really helped us be able to respond in a better manner uh, to the request of the Libyan electoral authorities. As the United Nations continues to provide electoral assistance to its member states, the close cooperation with its partners and the focus on conflict prevention remain key priorities.